Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. Pull up. <sighs> that was almost smooth enough to count as a real landing. Well, I should probably get the newbie up. Hey. Break time's over. We've arrived. Nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. We actually crash-landed. We're all safe, though. Um, but this ship's gonna need repairs. And we need an alibi for our passengers, too. Can't let them know we had a malfunction. That wouldn't go over well. Hmm. How about... Attention, everyone. This is your captain speaking. I hope you've enjoyed our voyage so far. Right now, we've landed for a short break. Feel free to stretch your legs and walk around. I've actually been told that unicorns like to graze around here this time of year. If you want to try to spot one, or just want to get some fresh air, please use the port side gangway. We'll be back in the air in just a few moments. That should keep them entertained for now. Clark, I'm sorry about this. Could you go keep an eye on the passengers? If they ask about the breakdown, just make something up. Thanks. Highland, what you got? Huh. Engine 2 and 4 on the starboard side need repair. What, did we get a puncture in the hole? Alright, yeah, I should probably go check. Could you get the engines ready for reignition? Great. Lindholm, make sure the stabilizers are still in working condition. We did kind of take that landing a little hard. Thanks. Lodestone out. Newbie, you're on me. Let's go check out the hole from the ground. Don't worry if any of the passengers give you crap. You can let Clark take care of it. I did put him on customer service duty. Well, I can see why the engine stopped working. A hole that big? I'm surprised we didn't lose all our power. The cabin temperature must have dropped low enough that engines 2 and 4 stopped combusting. What is that? One, two, three punctures straight to the engine room. What do you think caused that? Couldn't have been debris. Well, that's not a bad idea, but I think this one looks more like wyverns. We probably ran into a flock of them. The small ones, of course. <laughs> A big one, well, we'd be having a much harder time keeping the passengers calm. Still, your guess wasn't bad, actually. You sure this is your first voyage? <laughs> we better get these holes patched back up. And fortunately, we haven't been able to restock on Holler's foam since last voyage. Looks like we'll have to improvise. Why don't we mix some makeshift sealant? It's easy. I'll show you. We'll start by looking for some cloud buds. They're the fluffy and cream-colored plants. You can go take a look in that meadow by the lake. Thankfully, it's still nice and sunny, so I don't think we'll have any difficulty looking for them. Why do we even need these? When you extract their juices and combine them with a little bit of catalyst, Within a few minutes, it swells up and creates a hard plaster. We'll use some of that to patch up the hole. You need help identifying them? Sure. Let me come over. I probably should have told you this earlier. Cloud buds usually grow next to rocks or trees or anything solid, really. They may look delicate, but they're actually tough little plants. You know, this kind of reminds me of my hometown before I got my sky legs. In my free time, I used to pick all kinds of wildflowers and plants. Usually the ones that made the best iced tea. They always smelled so nice too. Hey, that's a good one. If the outside feels really waxy, you know you'll get plenty of juice from it. Let's grab the best ones, then head back up to the ship. 
we can grind it up in the engine room while the passengers are still portside. Here, I got the mortar and pestle. Why don't you start grinding some of the cloud buds? I'll get the catalyst ready in the plaster gun. <sighs> so, how are you liking your first voyage as a crewmate? Well, that makes me happy. This trip has been a bit more eventful than most, but you're taking it in stride. That's good. I hardly see many new crew members with iron wits like that. You were even able to sleep through it all. Where'd you say you were from again? Oh, I've actually never sailed with someone from the Isles before. I mean, I grew up in a landlocked province. What is it like? Is it nice to wake up and hear the sound of the ocean? Yeah, I guess you would get used to it after a while. It's like when people ask me what it's like to fly for a living. Well, we're all sailors now. I guess that's all that matters. You done? Great. Can you pour the extract into this canister? Nice work. The foam gun's all ready to go, so all you have to do is pull the trigger and it'll start flowing. Yeah, right there, where the giant holes are. <laughs> Looking good. Easy on the trigger. This stuff gets real big, real quick. That should probably hold. Looks good. Lodestone here. Report. Already? Great. Thanks. That was Engineer Highwind. Engines are good to go. We just gotta refuel. Mind giving me a hand? This might be the first job all day you were actually trained to do. <laughs> Let's head back up to the bridge. I think we're finally ready to take off. I'll make the announcement now. Hello passengers. I hope you enjoyed your little break. Please come back on board. We'll be taking off shortly. From here on out, it'll be non-stop until our final destination. Hopefully. Let me radio the crew members. All hands on deck. Prepare for launch. We're getting out of here. Hey, newbie. Can you man the intake valve? It's that panel on the right. Third lever. I'll start us off with 30% power. A little more air, please. <sighs> I just hope that sealant holds. Well, the readings don't look like they're giving out. All engines still firing. Okay. Approaching cruising altitude in three, two, one. Hey, can you lock that stabilizer on your right? Good. I'll start the autopilot. And... That should be it. Everyone, great work. Next time we're at port, dinner's on me. Dismissed. Now that we're on autopilot, we can kind of do whatever until our final approach. That won't be for a while, so we have some time to kill. Hmm... Why don't you join me in my quarters for a drink? What do you think? Tea, coffee, or something a little stronger? Sounds good to me. After you.